What is going on guys, Gorilla Ray here. Today I'm bringing you a video going over the new game mode in Battlefield Hardline called Heist. Now so far in the beta for Battlefield Hardline, this game mode is only being able to be played on Bank Job, the map Bank Job. I'm not sure if there's going to be other maps on full release that you can play this with, but this is the uh, robber side gameplay that I'm bringing you right now. So I'm going to be showing you the robber side and the cop side. So right now we're trying to break into the vault. As you can see, there's kind of a drill going into the vault to my left. And uh, on the robber side, basically what your goal is, is to break into the vault. There's three different entrances that you can go into. You have to break into three different spots. And then you are able to c go in and grab the two different separate bags that you can uh, then try and bring to extraction points. Now, the extraction points are in two different spots on the map. One is on the far as way I'm facing right now it's over there up in a building and helicopters try or helicopters come and pick up the bag of money from you so right here I'm gonna show you the other way that you can get in to the vault and that is uh, by kinda setting a bomb up on top right above the vault and this guy is going to plant it right here and I think it's like a 25 second countdown and it will then blow up and I think this, uh, yeah, this air conditioning unit right here will then fall down and you will be able to enter the vault from a different area than the original spot we were showing. So I'm going to run in here and I grab the bag of money and I need to now try and get it to the extraction point. So it's really cool how this, uh, how this game mode has, uh, developed. I watched, uh, early gameplay for this from other YouTubers who basically got early access and they showed uh, they showed different aspects and I, I think that they have developed this game and the game mode pretty well. There's still some tweaks here and there but overall it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it a lot. So right now I have the bag of money and these guys are just trying to escort me to the building up here to the, uh, to the left and once you get there you are able to drop off the money with to a helicopter it'll take it and that is how the robber side win so I personally like the robber side better than the cop side and uh, it's I think that the robber side is a little more fun because the whole time you're trying to get in there you're battling to get into the vault and trying to get that those bags of money and bring them to the extraction point as you can see here these guys are trying to help me get to the spot I'm gonna run out here I almost died but Say it says now that I'm the getaway is incoming and the helicopter will then show up and I'll be able to bring the bag to the rope that it drops. Pretty self explanatory. If you read the description before you play it, it basically shows you, but I just wanted to bring you guys a gameplay showing you the two different aspects. So those guys are shooting me because I didn't bring the bag to it, but once you bring it to the helicopter, it will fly away, of course, and your team will win. So this wasn't one of my better robber side game gameplays, but it is probably one of the better demonstrations for uh, bringing it to extraction points and going in different separate ways. So there's three different ways, like I said, to get into the vault. So the next side I'm going to show you is the cop side. So, of course, we spawn on the other side. We have to protect the vault from the robbers. The robbers are, of course, going to be trying to get into the vault and grab the cash. So, I'm using right here with the robber side the M16A3. It's basically come back to uh, Battlefield from Battlefield 3. One of my favorite uh, guns. And right now, uh, yeah, I throw that grenade right at the wall. almost kill myself. But right now, this is probably my favorite gun in Battlefield Hardline. And uh, just because of its versatility, you can really use it any any different type of game types. You can use it in Conquest, in a Heist. There's also the new game type, uh, Hotwire. So I think that this weapon's probably the best overall. And I plan on playing a lot more with it and upgrading it as much as I can. But as you can see there, once they break in, it's going to show two different, uh, two different bags. As you can see there to my left, and they are now setting a charge to go out the other side to uh, I guess escape to the extraction point so it's saying they're not to stop the carrier because they have the uh, they have one of the bags or they actually have both of the bags right here and we have to try and stop them from getting to the extraction points just like earlier when I had the bag they were trying to stop me 
So uh, this being on the cop side, it's pretty cool. You're able to kind of sit back and defend the extraction points when they do get it. As you can see here, they just blew up the um, this side that you can enter in. Like I said, there were three different areas to get into the vault. Turn on the radio here because who doesn't want some tunes? And uh, we now have to kill these guys before they get to extraction points. Kill, I kill that one guy. I think one of my uh, teammates in here kills the other guy. And now we are going to have to recover the bags. And uh, basically sit in here until we get the recovering line all the way full up or filled up. And it will then return it to its original spot, the bags, on top of the cash. Then, of course, the criminals have to try and come back and... Uh, have to try and steal them again, but we recovered both of these, and uh, being on the cop side, that is the absolute main goal, is to just protect and keep the vault as secure as possible. So, one thing too, this guy throws a gas grenade, I think it's called, I, I don't know what it's called right now, but it basically, if you sit in it for too long, it will kill you. So, one thing that you want to take into consideration when you're playing Heist, is to try and save up, I think it's about $6,000, and you basically want to have a gas mask. Now I run a gas mask on most of my classes, mainly the uh, the professional, I think that, yeah, the assault class basically. They switched the names of them, so I'm not too familiar yet of what they're called, I can't remember offhand, but the, uh, the basically the assault class, I use the gas mask because I'm definitely a little more offensive and trying to I guess be as quick and uh, forward as I can when I'm playing with this weapon, the M16A3. And uh, so having the gas mask really helps. And I think I actually bought the gas mask after this uh, after this game because I realized how important it can be. And I also equipped the gas bomb because that can really help. So another thing here, we're, uh, we're killing these guys and uh, returning the bags as well. So... Overall, heist in Battlefield Hardline. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the idea? It, some people think it's a payday ripoff. They think that it's uh, it's not going to be as cool as it's hyped up to be. But so far, me playing it, I really enjoy it. I think that uh, once they... I, think, I really hope that there's more than just this map. So far, like I said in beta, this is the only map for heist. Hopefully, on full release, which is March 17th, I believe we will be able to play this game type on at least one other map because the uh, this map, it's a lot of fun, like I said, but it's definitely not, uh, you're definitely not going to want to play this continuously all the time if it's only on one map, just like Conquest. Conquest, the only map we are able to play Conquest on is Dust Bowl, which is a very good map. I really like it, but obviously having Conquest on other maps is going to be a lot of fun. So another thing a lot of people were complaining about is the uh, the lack of weapons and the weapon choices. But right now, I think that they only allowed us to use certain amount of weapons in the beta, and they didn't give the full release on all the weapons, so I don't think we should be too worried about it. I may be wrong, but I think on full release, we will have a more... Uh, a bigger range of weapons to choose from, because right now, like, each class only has, like... A total of maybe seven different weapons to choose from not even that probably around five or six so and uh, another thing too is that the weapons are like class uh, class specific so if you're playing as a robber you have specific weapons and if you're playing as cops you have specific weapons so right now like if I was on the criminal side as you could see earlier I was using a different weapon than the m16 a3 because the M16A3 is a cop special or cop specific weapon, and the uh, the other weapon I was using, the AKM, is a criminal specific weapon. But anyways, this gameplay was basically to show you heist and how it works, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did and want to see more gameplays like this and more kind of uh, demonstrations, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all later.